decades, the U.S. News and World Report rankings have been a force to reckon with in deciding the who's who of universities. But now that influence could fast be waning with some of the biggest universities withdrawing, beginning with Yale University last fall and Harvard's top ranked medical school this month. Opposition can be traced to many saying the system puts too much priority on prestige and is no longer reliable. Joining the mass revolt this week is the University of Wisconsin Law School. Dean Dan Tokaji joins me now. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having so, me. For UW Law School, what for you is the final straw in making this decision? You said it in your introduction. The U.S. News Law School ranking simply isn't a reliable source of information on students. It puts a lot of weight on quote unquote reputation. It overemphasizes median LSAT and GPA, and it doesn't consider something that is really central to our mission and values as Wisconsin's flagship public law school, and that is providing a world-class education and at, at an affordable price so that there's a pathway to the legal profession for people from all sorts of backgrounds, and pe including people who are less advantaged. That's really critical to who we are at the University of Wisconsin Law School, and unfortunately, it's not something that is valued by the U.S. News Law School ranking. How long has this controversy with the rankings been building? I mean, this is, this withdrawal is happening right now, but this this is not new, is it not? Not at all. In the law school world, there has been dissatisfaction with the U.S. News ranking for many, many years. Um, both because it's not reliable and because it really incentivizes law schools to do some things that are not necessarily in the best interests of our students if we want to preserve our ranking. So for many years, law schools have been really unhappy with that ranking. It is a co common knowledge within the legal education community that it's really not a reliable source of information. But that doesn't mean it has no effect. And um, it, it actually has outsized effect in large part because so many students rely on it. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a source of information that is relatively easy for them to um, at least see. And um, hopefully the dropping out by so many top law schools, including the University of Wisconsin over the past couple of months, will diminish the weight that the U.S. News Law School ranking has in the eyes of prospective law students. The U.S. News, they released a letter earlier in January. They essentially said in response to all these droppings out, dro droppings out that they have no plans to stop the rankings. They did say they plan to make some, like, more of their data available to uh, publicly collect. They, are, they, they clearly are trying to hold on to this. How long do you think they can do that when they have top schools dropping out like this? How long would they be worthwhile to prospective students? I teach freedom of speech. They certainly have a free speech right to publish whatever ranking they like, how, however unreliable it is. Um, that's basically their business model now. They call themselves a journalistic enterprise. Um, but most of what they do now is actually ranking different things, including um, higher educational institutions. And again, they have a right to do that, uh, but we have a right to say, no, we're not going to participate in your survey. A and hopefully that will diminish the effect that the U.S. News Law School ranking will have, particularly on prospective law students who are trying to decide what law school is best for them. That's really an individualized uh, decision, and I don't think the U.S. News ranking is a very helpful source of information for the vast majority of those prospective law students. Last question for you. Do you foresee potentially some other type of ranking rising to the top in the way that, you know, U.S. News has dominated this, but do you feel like this type of ranking has just gone for good? You know, my ideal world is actually not one in which there are no rankings at all. I think ranking law schools from by multiple entities across multiple dimensions is a good thing for prospective students. It's unfortunate that U.S. News has almost a lock on the law school market, or at least has previously. So yeah, I would love to see other ranking systems develop. For example, one that would rank access to law school and rank access to public service and public interest jobs. You know, by keeping student debt low, you know, 
Wisconsin Law School has been incredibly successful at not only ensuring that students of all backgrounds can come here and get a great legal education, but uh, making sure they're not so saddled with debt that their career choice is limited. 43% of our students last year went into public interest or public service jobs. We're really proud of that, and we think that by uh, refusing to participate in this year's U.S. News survey, we can further our ability to provide a top-notch legal education at an affordable price so that people can go into whatever career path they choose. Dean, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. We will be right back.